Well, hello everybody. I just figured I'd give you a quick update. Yeah, this part is gluing. That's not being glued. The top piece ain't being glued. It's these pieces that are being glued. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. I got a storm coming in. It's about four in the morning. I've already laid track. A piece of track is ready to go. I just need to wire up those feeders to a terminal block. All that's ready to go. I got all that track in back there. I'm coming up here. That's one of the sidings. That'll be next to Siding Creek. All right. And then we come up over here and we're into this side, which I just finished the outside and inside runs, which is hard to see through all that flex track I got piled up. And this one helix is done, but not done. I'm gonna use a shim to get up to that quarter inch. And I'll come around here again. And this is where that yard's going to be. So, yeah. I've had to lay out a part the past couple of days to do those outside tracks in an easier fashion. I'm gonna be cutting these profile boards later today so that way I can get track laid through here as soon as I can figure out the heights and where everything's going to go. So, I guess y'all have a good one because I'm gonna be working on this for a while yet, but figured I'd give y'all an update. Oh, and I need to cut that hole out there so that way I can go around the uh, 15 inch radius curve. Yes, the track plan I'm actually using. So, We'll see how it works out because I widened out quite a few of those radiuses. And the biggest reason why is because of this guy. I want him to make it around the entire main line. I'm going to use him as a main line locomotive. And I've got him wired back to DC for testing all this. I've got every place you see wires is finished which I was hoping to come back out here and do some more wiring. But I guess I can't with the thunderstorm coming in. So there's a connector down there, which is powering this back unit. There will be a nine pin computer connector looped here. So that way I can run turnout controls and auxiliary functions back here. And there's going to be a 25 pin here and then to move power over to the yard I got to use a 35 pin and a 25 pin or 31 pin and a 25 pin to get enough over here to run all the turnouts and everything else so there will be a bigger print out of that one that will actually cover probably two pieces of paper and there'll be push buttons to select the roots so I need to make that bigger somehow I'd love it if it wasn't for the background color so I'd like to get rid of that all right y'all have a good one